I have, you know, I've read that um, history judges a culture by the art it leaves behind. You know, archaeologists are always digging up shards of pottery or seeing um, beautiful sculptures that are left. You know, it's how we look at Italy. It's how we look at historic cultures is by looking at their artwork. Um, I don't really see my artwork as being so valuable in 200 years. I see my artwork as being valuable today because it's a springboard for honest discussion and for dialogue and for people to really get an understanding of some of the issues that Indian people are facing today. This one teacher came up and she said, okay, okay, I get this, mm -hmm. but with what do we replace these images? And so that actually led to the only time I've ever done a black and white documentary style uh, exhibit, and that was Reclaiming Cultural Ownership, Challenging Indian Stereotypes, where I just had mm -hmm. black and white images of Indian people as they are today, just showing, um, showing Indians as a board of directors or showing them producing a television program. Mm -hmm. But the thing that was so curious to me was how all these people are still so tied to traditional teachings. Mm -hmm.